Welcome. Today I'm joined by Dr. Heidi May from the Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute. Thank you for being with oh, us. Yes. We're going to be talking about an exciting study that you have presented at the HA Scientific Session. Tell us a little bit about it. Sure. So we know that patients with atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease, mm -hmm. which include patients with coronary artery disease, cerebral vascular and peripheral arterial disease, have a high risk of having uh, cardiovascular events. And studies have shown that statin therapy has reduced that risk. So we sought to determine whether there was a difference in statin tr uh, treatment among these three groups, since guidelines recommend mm -hmm. that all patients with the atherosclerotic cardiovascular events receive a statin regardless of their LDL level. Why is this important to know? This is important just because we know that statins are beneficial and that these patients do better when they receive them. So if there is a treatment gap, things need to, whether it's a care process model, some type of protocol um, should be implemented so these patients are getting the best care process possible so that their risk is reduced. And these patients are part of a population in a busy hospital, tertiary um, hospital, and not carefully monitored in a clinical trial. And so you're trying to get a, uh, a regular routine, um, everyday picture of what happens in a hospital right. or healthcare setting. Right. So this is a real world population. So they're not going to be under the scrutiny of a randomized clinical trial, but this is what happens in a real world situation. And that's the place where we can make the biggest impact is in those situations that are really occurring mm -hmm. and that really affect patients. Well, let's take a look at your sure. results. Why don't you walk us through them? Sure. So we looked about at about 62,000 patients okay. and about 70% of them were coronary artery disease patients. Okay. So we looked how many patients among this ASCVD group got a statin prescription at their ASCVD diagnosis and when they were leaving the hospital. And what we found was that um, about 83% of patients with coronary artery disease got a statin, um, but it was much worse among uh, cerebral vascular patients mm. where they were about 53% and even worse for per peripheral arterial disease patients where they were about 28%. Do you have a hypothesis on why that you're seeing this difference amongst the various diseases? Um, I think that more emphasis is tend to be placed in these coronary artery disease patients just because many studies have shown that they're beneficial and it's just a repeated result shown over and over. Okay. And that um, when, when uh, processes have been implemented in hospital, it tends to start with this patient population. Okay. And so as we look at the uh, CAD uh, results, uh, the difference between statins and no statins, about 11, 12% difference. Uh, were you surprised by the CVD or the PAD? Yeah. So as this graph shows that statin use is very beneficial in reducing your risk of MACE. Overall, um, 60, about 63% of the patients with no statin prescription at discharge had a MACE event compared to 51% of those that received a statin at discharge. This is very similar to the coronary artery disease patients and uh, very similar to the cerebral vascular patients. But we see with this peripheral arterial disease patients, there doesn't appear to be much of a benefit. Um, but we look closer into that and we found there's really an interaction in this uh, disease with age. Okay. And so we stratified uh, this group by s age 65 and we found those uh, greater than or equal to 65 years of age, statin therapy at, uh, discharge was uh, resulted in a reduced risk of MACE. But if you were less than 65, there really wasn't a difference in your risk. However, there might be some type of selection bias in that younger group um, in receiving statin therapy. It may be some of the sicker or the with their health habits maybe aren't the best. So that's the area where um, some, something could really be done and we can really truly evaluate if there's a benefit or not. We've known there's been a gap. What, uh, what are these results? Did they surprise you at all? Um, I was surprised that the cerebral vascular and the peripheral arterial disease patients were as low as they were mm. in receiving statin therapy. Um, I was also surprised that um, less than 65, the peripheral arterial disease patients didn't appear to have a benefit from statin therapy. but. I do think there is some type of selection bias going mm. on. There. So with this knowledge from the data that you, you found, where do we go next with this? Yeah, I think it's important for uh, hospitals, clinicians to implement some type of protocol or care process model that patients are just receiving a statin prescription before 
they are discharged after the ASCVD diagnosis. That gives them the best benefit, um, better chance of having a reduced risk of poor outcome. So being a little bit proactive, taking these results, seeing that there is a gap and that we actually can really do something about mm -hmm. it will be really important. Well, thank you for sharing your results with us and congratulations on a great project. Thank you. We invite you to learn more about this study and our other abstracts presented at AHA uh, at our booth uh, in the exhibit hall, as well as by going on our website and we'll have posters and additional abstracts posted there. Thank you so much and have a great day. Mm -hmm.